narrated in fact by a character that we even got to see we're not here in the first game our boy terry terrence kine okay cats are sitting hold on yeah i mean you keep going I'll yeah that was the first time I remembered to hit don't show again, because if you just hit no, then they'll do it the next time you boot up the game. Oh, good God. What? Oh, no. Yeah. Please don't. The cats are just really, really... They're excited. Excited. They love Dead Space. So, yeah, um... But yeah, previously on Dead Space TM. Oh my god. Yeah, so luckily for us, we won't have to wait in suspense. But Cutie's getting her laptop rebooted. And so we'll wait till she can hear things. Yes, um, my laptop does this thing where the headphone jack doesn't work if you unplug the headphones. Um... So you have to keep them plugged in from the boot cycle for them to work. I don't know. Don't ask me. So yeah, since they got unplugged, um, she now has to fully restart her laptop to get headphones generally working. <laughs> I can do Bluetooth ones, but I don't want the delay. Or at least any more delay than I have to. Yes. The headphone splitter is arriving later today. We're sort of doing a, an impromptu sp stream setup, which is a lot of fun. Okay, I think I'm good. Okay, you're good? I think I'm good. You're ready for previously on Dead Space TM? Well, I can't hear you. Okay. So in a stunning... Oh, no, my computer's muted. Yeah? Have we been muted this whole time? No, my computer... Okay, no, we got it. Okay, good. That would have been wacky. The delay is bonkers. Just enough. It's just enough to be like... It's like a good second and a half. So it's... Ooh, it's that... It's that fun zone. Nice. <laughs> well, anyway... That, uh, that headphone splitter's getting here later today, and that should fix it. Yes. But for today, we're dealing with, like, a little bit of crust on that end. Um, the menu's a lot of fun. Normally, on console, you're supposed to be able to, like, look up, but it, like, really fights you on PC. Like, I want to look up, but it doesn't want me to. It just keeps... But no, there are, like, alien symbols there, and... If you use the decoder that the first game gives you, you can actually translate what those are. Um... But anyway, previously on Dead Space TM. By the 25th century, Earth's resources were ravaged, consumed, exhausted. Desperate and on the verge of extinction, we cast out into the void of space and discovered rich new worlds waiting to be cracked open and stripped bare. All of Earth became devoted to this effort. The planet crackers were built. The USG Ishimura the first and most famous. Planet cracking became routine. Its spoils kept us alive. Eventually, greedy eyes fell upon Aegis Seven. Restricted for centuries for reasons unknown, greed and corruption sought to the demise of caution. There, buried beneath the surface, an artifact, the Red Marker, long lost and long forgotten. The religion I once called my own had found its holy grail, the key yes. to human immortality. Or so we thought. It did not bring salvation. It brought doom. Insanity, murder, and chaos. It bred necromorphs. <laughs> Those who escaped the planet fled to the safety of the orbiting Ishimura. This is Shuttle CSO 4. The colony's overrun. We can't go back. 
This is from the Wii spin-off. Yes. It was like a arcade where like you had like the the two guns on screen. Oh cool. The corporation dispatched a small repair crew to check on its investment. Seems like everyone the first co-op Dead Space game. Among the crew was an engineer, huh? Isaac Clark. Isaac, he had something special about the Ishimura. I wish I could talk to you. I'm... In the darkness, Isaac found death. Also found you really want to see him on I always believe We have another cat trying to climb aboard. She was an apparition of the marker. Oh, he he may be giving up. We'll see. His escape. Oh, get it? Because he's an engineer. He engineered his escape. But everything else was destroyed. When does it begin? Right now. Years later, he wakes in a hospital oh, no, in Titan Station, Station, an Earth Gov metropolis. And so we got to. Sorry, guys. See y'all in three years. Oh. But his mind is no longer safe. Oh no. He has not safe for work thoughts. Oh, there's the littlest. Oh boy, are all three cats or just changes all. Changes everything. This is what before, happens when... Before, he was a butt man. Now, he's not so sure. You know? The marker changes all. <laughs> anyway. Um, so yeah, that was previously on Dead Space. It was vague as hell. Yeah. So I will tell you a little bit about the events of this fun video game, Dead Space, so that we can get into Dead Space 2. Okay. So that video you saw of Nicole. Yeah. Of her saying like that things were bad. That video continues and actually shows her committing suicide. Okay. Isaac had, like, been apparently mentally repressing it, and the player only finds this out at the end of the game because you've been helping Nicole throughout the game. And what you find out in that moment is that Nicole was purely the hallucinations brought about by the marker to get you to do the marker's will. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah, it's sort of a weird eldritch twist to the game. Um, but yeah, and that's what he's sort of dealing with, um, Isaac now, is that the marker has sort of imprinted on him, and he is hallucinating and still being sort of, uh, I don't know, just, you know, told to do things by aliens. So yeah, that's why everything's a brain, but see, you can see chunks of markers in there, because that's how it works. He just has chunks of rock in there. Yeah, That's your, the issue. Your brain now has rocks in it. Your brain does now have tiny pieces of marker in it. Anyway, so yeah. Um, we're going to go new game now that we've had our previously on Dead Space. And we're going to go Zealot mode. Um, oh. Just just to see how it goes. I think we can turn it down. We'll see. If we can't, well... Hi Noctis, how are you doing? Um, DS3 co-op, potentially. I have played DS3 co-op many times. Uh, it's sort of partly up to if Cutie's up to it and also um, acquire Cutie a copy of Dead Space 3. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so we're sort of up for it. Um, I'm not the biggest fan no, of Dead Space 3. God! Thanks for that. No, God, please, no, no! Thanks. No! Yeah. No! Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for that, Lila. Um, hello, hello. But no, uh, we. I'm up to play uh, Dead Space Three with with Cutie. But yeah, that would be a wacky time. That game just gets very wacky. They made a lot of choices with the narrative and with just the direction of the series. Uh, under pressure from EA to succeed, partly because this game sold 
under expectations, uh, which is to say, I think it sold 2 million copies, and EA was like, well, you should have sold 5 million, and then um, pressured them super duper with the sequel, and then when it also didn't sell well because it was a very weird sequel, they actually just closed Visceral Studios. And so yeah, rip Visceral Studios. Uh, the Dead Space series is in fact dead. Wild. So anyway, um, that's a quick narrative sort of behind this game, behind uh, the Dead Space series and behind Dead Space 3. Game facts. Game facts, yeah. On sort of the business end. And it's funny, this game, I don't know, I really like this game. This is probably my favorite of Dead Space 1, 2, and 3. Partly because it has a PC port that is not weird, unlike the first one. Um, <laughs> Which, as we experienced last week. Yes. <laughs> hard crashed during a loading screen at a certain point in game. So we just couldn't get past that. Um, and that's part of the reason why we're moving on to Dead Space 2. But yeah, let's jump into it. Ammo and health are very scarce, and enemies will brutalize you. On this one, they just smooch you. It's really, it's really quite pleasant, actually. Now you'll immediately notice that they did get a different actress for Nicole. So she looks like a very different person this time around. But it is Nicole. But it is still technically the Nicole from the first video game. That's Nicole. Yeah, that's definitely I agree there. Come in. They also made Isaac look more like his voice actor, but he's the same voice actor as the last game. It's okay. How are you doing? Good. You're right, Isaac. The Ishmer is a great ship. I am so lucky to be serving aboard her. Enjoy it while it lasts. You know they're gonna decommission her next year. Isaac. Thank you. For what? For just pushing me to do this. I mean, if it weren't for you, I never would have made it this far, because you made me stick with it. Mm hmm okay. He was the reason she was on board that you know, ship. Isaac? Isaac, can you hear me? I'm gonna call you back as soon as I can, okay? Isaac. Isaac! You were drifting away for a moment there, Mr. Clark. Sorry, Edgar. I believe you were telling me about your nightmares that you've been mm -hmm. having. About your dead girlfriend. What was her name? Nicole. I didn't want it to end like this. I really wanted to see you again. Just once. I loved you. I always loved you. Yes. Nicole Brennan. She was a senior medical officer stationed aboard a Planet Cracker class vessel. The Ishimura. USG Ishimura. Yes. I like the fancy Rubik's Cube, though. It confuses me, but I like it. You were part of the repair mission. A mission for which you volunteered, am I right? What did you find aboard that ship, Isaac? I found something. Oh yeah, I can move the camera, by the way. What did they find aboard the ship? I just, I mean, you know. Yeah. Did you have contact with this? Why would I? It made you see things, didn't it? Things nah. you didn't want to see. It spoke to me. What did it say, Isaac? What did it say to you, Isaac? Isaac. Isaac, can you hear me? Mm, space is haunted. I hate it. This is the protagonist of a spin-off game. Um, that's a PS4 exclusive, excuse Isaac. me. <coughs> can you hear me? But yeah, look, it's the protagonist of two Dead Space games. Dana, what do you think? Are you are they going to be friends? Dana. Repeat, I have him. Great work, Franco. Be careful. He's been out a long time. Huh? <laughs> but no, just that extra background of this boy is also the main character of a different Dead Space game. Where, where am I? Have fun, Lyra. Yeah, I, I, have fun with that I need to eventually I play that game. It looks yeah, like me, okay? a ton Listen. of fun. You're Listen. Terrible, terrible. Oh no! Oh no! Thank you. Hey! 
headbutt. All right, guys, it's time to dip. <laughs> this game has no chill. Let's boogie. <laughs> gotta go, gotta go, gotta go, gotta go, gotta go. The first thing they teach you how to do is sprint. The first game at least had, like, you were on a ship and then you got off the ship. This game is just like, good morning. Welcome to this. But yeah, so anyway, it looks like another, some, some ding-dang idiots probably made. Uh, aw, beans, hit the E button, guys. Shout out to Doors. For not being OSHA compliant, but definitely being helpful in this situation. Don't know why. Oh god, so as you can see, chapter one, we've made it. Okay. <laughs> Chill vibes. Um. <sighs> yeah, no, the doors in this game always uh, kill things. Only a little scared. Um. I mean, you know, it's it's hard to not. Oh yes, police. They're always the good guys and things. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to even, even. <laughs> oh my god. Thank you, space aliens. That was very helpful. They were about to open fire on me. Oh. I'm good, thanks. Oh. I ate earlier. Coffee. It's been three. Galactic medicine. I've never looked around this area. I'm sorry, but I've played this game so many times that I've never looked around this area. That's hilarious. It's like a cafe. Yeah. My coffee's over. But anyway, as you can see, much like in the first Dead Space, a lot of juice accidents happening on this ship. People love to drink. I believe that is. It was sherry. at this moment that he knew he fucked up. Yeah, I mean, I feel like the fuck up happened like probably three years ago, I guess. <laughs> All right, anyway, observation room, authorized. I feel pretty authorized at this point in my life. Oh, I've probably beat this game like four or five times um, on varying difficulties, um, but it's been a while since I've played through it. But no, I first saw this game when I was like 13 at like a birthday party. Um, and it scared the shit out of me. But I was like, I'm gonna walk away from that just, just to... Uh, that's another spin-off character. He's from a really bad animated film that I don't recommend you watch. But anyway, I watched it so you don't have to. Um, he, basically, he was on a ship that found a piece of the marker from the first movie. And he got, like, mentally imprinted with him. And during um, his hallucinations, he murdered his own family. And then he was the only survivor on that ship. So, yeah. Um, he and Isaac are both sort of people who were exposed to the last marker before it was destroyed and then completely annihilated. And so they're the sort of prime subjects. Oh, man, look. What's up, dude? so funny. What are you doing? I think he's just having knife fun. He also appears to have had a juice accident, which is sad. Well, I'll just see if I can just sneak back. Sure. Okay. Come on, man. Thank you, boy. I remember you. <laughs> I said we all the key subjects need to be eliminated. Terminated. Thanks. There's no escaping from what I've done. <laughs> take it easy, buddy. Just take it easy. 
The rig is red. It's red. It's a health pack and a flashlight in that wall locker. You should grab them. Boy, you made a quick 180, huh? Thanks. Uh, I'm... Take it. Okay. I won't be needing it anymore. I'm not gonna question anything you're saying right now. Leaders. Isaac, we're yeah. all gonna burn for what we did to you. So anyway, if anyone wants an, a description of what he's currently doing, he does sort of... He does have a bit of a juice accident. Um, but anyway, and the fucked up thing, by the way, hey, you can stomp this boy's corpse into pieces. I don't know why they let you do that, because I now do have stomping abilities. I don't have a gun, by the way. I have punch, I have stomp, and I do have flashlight. So, I think we're going to make it, boys. Gamers. Thank you, my boy. Stomp! All this cherry juice. All this cherry juice. He's losing it all. Oh. Okay, so anyway, moving on. Clark! Isaac Clark, is that you? Who are it you? me. My name is Dana. I'm the one trying Hello. to see you. Why? What's going on? You're suffering from a unique form of dementia, Isaac. Something you contracted on age of seven. How do you know that? How do you know all this about me? Your dementia will kill you. But if you can get here, I can treat you and get you to safety. Why should I trust you? Because I'm not the one shooting at you. Fuck. Way I'm killing you. <laughs> Fuck. I, one thing you'll notice uh, if you watched any of the first game is that Isaac talks in this one. They actually, he had a voice actor in the first one, um, but he never talked. But in this one, they actually uh, let him talk and made the Isaac's character look more like his voice actor. So yeah, we have our fun glowy beam. This time though, we can make it search for bench, store, save station, or the current objective. So yeah, they made it a lot more useful in this game. This game just has a ton of quality of life improvements over the first one. And spooky improvements, ooh, spooky. Hey. But yeah, um, Boogie. I was like, should I warn about that one? Because I always remember that one, because that one did scare the bejesus out of me. It's just by this point, like, Orderly I know it's DPS coming. The recent realization that the popsicle sticks were being constructed into marker-like miniatures for over a year has led to a search of the unit for any other such phenomena. It appears widespread, with marker forms being made out of medication bottles, hypodermic needles, and even toiletry items like nail clippers and tweezers. The research teams have all been notified of the discovery. Everyone's just crazy about them markers. They love it, you know? It's the new hot trend. But yeah, that was my earlier save to test things out and make sure that this... Oh, hello, cat. That this game ran. It, they cannot be stopped. It's because they're hungry. You know? Yeah, it's true. Gregory, that's my laptop. One moment. Do you need me? No. What are you up to? Just petting the baby boy. That's fair. <laughs> the spookies are happy. Okay, I'm here. Okay, I'm here for the spookies. <laughs> I got distracted by a cat. I know, I you got apologize. exceptionally distracted by a cat. It was so quick. I'm sure it's nothing. You know, it's just them post three year um, 
nap jitters, you know? Anyway, I'm gonna go crawl into this vent because that seems like the best thing to do for my survival. What's the vent button again? <laughs> Have I not done the necessary thing for vent? No? Okay. Then please vent. There we go. For some reason it wasn't working. It's weird that they, hey guys, why didn't they ever like take away my like engineering credentials, you know? <laughs> like, it's been three years. Um, I have not been a practicing engineer in those last three years. Mm -hmm. Why does the system still like, yeah, you seem to be, you seem to be the right person for this, man. I know. I'm doing great. Are you helping me? If Tideman finds you, more people will die. Including me. Not if you follow my route. I don't like this. You don't have to like it. Just hurry before you get locked in. But anyway, something we also do in this game is hacker voice we're in. So, for instance, in the in the beginning of this game, we have to jimmy all of our tools for goddamn hospital equipment so we just got a, a kinesis unit which was like the third thing we got in the other game um and in this game kinesis can be used to launch things which is the best part of this game and you're given that before you're given a gun so i have a flashlight and the ability to to yeet ye hello <laughs> Hello. You have to hit things again in this game as well to get them to drop ammo. Um, and corpses do despawn, so you gotta make sure to get it fast. Uh, because especially on this difficulty, they limit how much stuff drops a lot. And so I'm really gonna be counting my bullets. And that's why, like, using the, the pointy things uh, is very nice because the kinesis throws because it doesn't use any ammo. Anywho, looks like things are going great. Point my flashlight like it could do anything. Yes, I will heal. Thank you. But no, yeah, and this game is, it looks very good, but it's from, god, like 2011, I think. Um, it was from around the time Iron Man was becoming big, because they redesigned a lot of the stuff, ooh, this is bad, in the game, around the film. You guessed it, Iron Man. Hello. Goodbye. Okay, I'm out of pointy things. Ah, oh, beans. Eh. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. And we did it. But no, yeah, HR at this place, the CEC, must be pretty, pretty whack if this dude, who, by the way, uh, was last active three years ago and has definitely been under, like, government uh, watch for the last three years, is somehow still just, like, a licensed engineer. I wonder if being a, a CEC engineer is, like, a, a lifetime appointment. Once an engineer, oh, he's an engineer. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, it does. I just don't under... I, I, you know what? I'm not going to question it. Because that vent was what took me closer to not dying of space... Deadness. I think that thing is quietly alive. Excuse me. 
Thank you. And you can, in fact, much less like with your uh, part of the crew, part of the ship. Okay. I think this is the boy that's the melee tutorial. And I'm not going to risk it. Yeah, see? <laughs> I got you. Let me loot some stuff first, though. Oh, shit. He can hear us. He can hear us being in here and not helping him. ITK. That's not good. In a minute, okay? Ooh. All of this is fine. I do like how there are just a lot of pa plasma cartridges around. And yeah, I'll do okay, okay. Okay, I got you. What's happening? Oh my god. So, like you were in the middle of it, huh? Like, you're still. Jesus, man, help me. I mean, fuck. Yes, okay. Stop? Yeah. I got. Okay, okay. Okay, we have a gun now, though. We, we improvised a surgical laser into a gun. Because that's what an engineer can do. Excuse me. Oh my gosh. Yes. What time is it? It's not time. It's not time. He is just being loud. I thought there was more than like one boy. But. Anywho. But yeah, so that's the... Uh, so our... <laughs> Our, fr our friend, uh, we work better alone anyway. I mean, really, um, fuck. God, I like the, 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 like, light, like that noise they've added. I've never noticed that they've added that quiet noise in there as well. Anywho, so now we have, we do have gun. Isaac, it's Dana. You have to dismember the creatures to stop them. I know. I've had a lot of practice. Just try Lol. to stay in one piece. Thanks. This time the game only tells you once. Unlike the first game where they tell you five times. Yeah, they tell you so many times. But no, yeah. This game has the save system. A fun thing in the first game. So this game had the save system, or the first game had the save system, and the chapters had names. And if you spelled out the names of all the chapters, it was Nicole is dead, which is like the big twist. Oh. Yeah. In this game, it doesn't have chapter names. Uh, and then in the third game, uh, they sort of changed the save system, where it's all like auto saves. So now, uh, we are the dead space boy, everybody's favorite. Isaac Clark, back at it again with our, our plasma cutter. A little smaller this time, because it is surgical grade and no longer mining grade. That's fine. A child is in it. It's fine. Just gonna jump up no, the, the jump scare is fine. Oh. <laughs> Once again, the cats. I hear others. I think we just have to close them out of the room. Thank you. Alright, we got him. Although... Where are the bodies? I do kind of need those for ammunition. Wow. 
Mm, okay. Well, note to self, kill him in the in the bounds of where the game lets you go. Because otherwise. No you, you, God! Oh yeah, no. No, God! That is the please, feel. No! 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 I do get to stomp this boy for some money. Everybody knows that. I guess you just gotta like I don't I don't know why they they added the stomping thing I guess mainly just so you're less sure <laughs> of when something is dead uh, just because in the last game as soon as it dropped items you knew uh, anyway. me think Thank you for telling me how to reload now. It tells me that you do these things very late. Can you actually... No, okay. There's like a scale you can step on that will actually... Oh, oh, no, oh wait, they do tell you again, thank God. See, I didn't know. Yes, I didn't lose them. They're over here. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. I just the immediate recognition of <gasps> Yes. Yes, things. So many things. Excuse me. Hey, how's that inventory looking though? Okay, we're fine. A shocking amount of inventory space, considering that we are in a, uh, stripped-down straitjacket, so that's fun. Let's see. What was that noise? Okay. I would le read the text logs. Um, but. I don't know if I'm. Oh, no. Mm -hmm. Uh. Isaac! Isaac, come on! Come on, they're after us! Wait! Who is? Who's after us? Who's after us? That's Nolan Strauss, the other boy from the spin off film. Go, 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 you know I can't crouch. Not since the incident. I don't. Laters. Well, I do quietly. Well, I, I do need some help, though, is the issue. Oh, that sucks. Boy, they're, they're coming out of the ding-dang walls, eh? Ah, oh, that, that was a madness. Oops, Ooh, got his head. Woof. And once again, like in the first game, they do conveniently end as soon as combat is over. Okay, you're right. I do need your help. Talk to me. Look, Isaac, we don't have to be friends. But like it or not, we're stuck together. Tideman's your enemy, not me. All right, I found you a new route. Fine. So where the hell am I? How did another Necromorph outbreak get started? You're on Titan Station orbiting Saturn. As for the outbreak... Oh, shit! Tideman's jamming my signal! Anyway, I was doubling back to make sure there wasn't any loot I missed. Because this room is absolutely full of loot, luckily. Alright, we have... 26 bullets and many, many health packs tab to exit. I should I should really learn how to read things. Ah. Uh, 
I am, after all, an English teacher most of the time. Love that they just have a spare, spare bullets laying around, you know? You know how y'all just keep, like, laser ammo laying around everywhere, around your workplace? In the hospital? Now, this room always gives me anxiety. Um, more so than the rest of the game. Uh, just because, uh, it's the tutorial of the hacking minigame. And boy, boy are they mean about it, huh? Yeah, that boy on this difficulty will just one-shot you. Uh, and that's the thing is he takes so many shots, and if you don't stasis him right off the bat, because that's about to wear off, he'll just gun it towards you and one-shot you. Yeah. So yeah, I remember I, I tried doing hardcore runs of this game, and hardcore actually isn't 100% like you die and it's over. You get three saves across the entire game. Um... And I picked this as my first save. <laughs> Just because I never wanted to have to redo this again. But yeah, we have, now we have all of our tools back. We have our stasis, we have our kinesis, and we have our, our, our gun. Yoink. <laughs> We're doing great. Everything is fine. I'm good. <laughs> God. Uh, anyway. <laughs> this game just really knows how to make it, so it's like, nice, you, ooh, you made it through. And yeah, and, and part of the issue with this difficulty is like ammo drops in bundles of three um, and it generally is going to take quite a few shots to kill things. And so you're going to be constantly sort of uh, running low on shit. And so it really, it really does emphasize sort of the survival horror element, whereas diff the difficulty in the first one just made the numbers number here. Um, but yeah, they do difficulty. Honestly, part of the reason I've played uh, Dead Space 3 as many times as I have, because I've played it honestly four or five times, about as many times as I've played through Dead Space 2. And it's because of the way it handled sort of difficulty in New Game Plus. But anyway, time for elevators where everything is fine and nothing bad ever happens. Gonna heal up for no reason at all. What the fuck? <laughs> Stasis. Stasis. Yeah. <laughs> Just... I like that because that was just like, uh, remember, this is a spooky game. Uh oh. Uh -oh. It's spooky. <laughs> Can I? Oh my god. <laughs> Ruin all the I mean, who else is going to use them? I mean, I don't want to die as written in cherry sauce on the walls. I don't think things are going well here. That's a text log. No, thank you. Ah, oh, but this is the gift shop. 
No wonder there were so many balloons. And another power node. Power nodes function the exact same way in this game as they do in the other. But anyway, uh, difficulty in sort of the Dead Space games. Well, now <laughs> you have. <laughs> it's the only way we can in this grim, grim, dark space future. There is no kiss button in this game. Only punch uh, and gun and yeet, which is a lot of fun, I must say. Okay. Uh oh, space. This is a, a fun feature in this game. <sighs> so, if we ever see a window in this video game, we gotta be careful around it because it can do that. Because we are just in space. And hey, guess what, guys? Space windows are a bad idea. It's just space out there. Anywho, back to the hospital. So what do you guys think? What do you think is, uh... That thing's about to get up and, uh, be, be mean to us? Probably. Do you think I can shoot off its thing and use it against it? Yes, I can! Get it. And another, god, they just throw power notes at you. Let's real quick take our daily weight, you know, and I, now we're wearing our straight jacket. Normally we would like to sort of uh, be wearing less than this, but let's just go ahead and weigh ourselves real quick. 195, we're doing all right, you know? I don't remember what my weight was three years ago, but I'm fine with 195. <laughs> but yeah, those actually uh, function for some reason. I'm not complaining, uh, but yeah, they made, just functional scales in certain areas. Now, luckily. Welcome to my crystal, CEC engineer Isaac Clark. Thanks. They're like, oh yeah. Oh. <sighs> okay, so a couple of things. So one, once again, they have not removed us from the system in any way. And two, you'll notice, hey, there are a lot of guns here, and hey, all of them cost zero money. So some people data mined uh some dlc uh for this game and there was console exclusive dlc for dead space one and people dead data mined dead space 2 dlc and started making a stink about it and so as a as a reaction ea just unlocked the dlc for all pc players so it's available from the start of the game but they're like a little mildly game breaking because they are just every single gun in the video game for free yeah um and every single suit in the video game for free uh and so it is a little cheatsy doodle uh so i choose not to use it uh, but yeah, so that's why our store page is full of these very these free fancy guns that we will never use because we want to play the video game. Uh, you do, yeah, you do get ammo for the gun, so it's nice from the perspective of like you could pick the uh, what's the gun again? Actually, you don't have one of those guns yet. Um, but you could pick DLC for like the or the the flamer gun and then start getting that ammo. I think that ammo is more expensive than the uh, pistol ammo, so that would be something to do. But we're just gonna wait till we get the games nor or get the gun normally in the game. Uh, just because I prefer not to use these. And also, so something they don't tell you is one recommendation is just take all the guns and put them in storage, one that takes forever because they make you watch a cutscene for putting on every suit and then taking it off. Uh, but also, uh, it has a 15 armor slots and 15% armor versus 10 armor slots and 5% armor. Your rig retains the highest upgrade of armor and inventory, meaning as soon as you pick these, you are automatically 15 slots and 15% armor. And so even putting it away immediately, you are still giving yourself sort of an unfair advantage that is five extra inventory slots and 10 percent reduced damage across the board so yeah they just sort of added it to your game and i remember one of the top 
things to Google for Dead Space 2 is I actually had to disable this DLC. Uh, so that's how popular it is. Anyway, but look, it's our classic engineering suit that we can buy for 1,000 space dollars. So let's go ahead and do that because I'm getting cold. Do you guys see Iron Man? <laughs> they they really liked Iron Man, uh, and that went into the design of the new suit. I personally really like it, uh, but it is criticized in certain aspects in that um, apparently the way light reflects off of it um, is less complex and looks less nice than in the first game, but it's sort of a small nuance argument for style. Uh, but yeah, so now helmets unfold. Uh, they didn't before. He just sort of put it on before. This is um, a refurbished plasma cutter. It's the plasma cutter from the first game, and it's because we have Dead Space 1 installed on this PC. So we can use the plasma cutter from the first game. It, unlike the rest of this, uh, is the same as the regular plasma cutter. It's just if you want to use that sort of first game plasma cutter for nostalgia reasons, you can but I think I'm good using my impromptu plasma cutter. But no, yeah. Anyway, so we got our... Ah, oh, man, okay. I've forgotten how to navigate this system. All right, I'm gonna carry around two small med packs and that, um, just cause inventory space is limited. As you can see, we have 10 inventory slots. So, but we, we put on our space suit not a moment too soon cause we are in space now. Yoinks, free power node out in space. Hello, space. Oh, free. You know, and we're out of the hospital now. We're like at the hospital train station. Gotta love space. You know, let's just, let's just say hi to space again. Hey, space. Oh wait, I want to go back. Okay. That was a nice visit with space. See you later. So does this whole room <laughs> decompress and recompress every time? Is that what I'm supposed to believe? That's very efficient. I'm proud of them. Anyway, our old friend trains are back in this one. They're a little goofed up, but hey, nothing we can't fix. Missed. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. I missed. <laughs> More go go juice. Excuse me. Luckily, it's Resident Evil rules where, boy, you just took out the whole ding dang thing, eh? Gotta go, gotta go, gotta go. I hate it. Hate it. Oh, good. It's back. <laughs> God, I missed all of those. <laughs> There we go. Oh my god, and I was one shot away. That's so sad. Please stop. Please stop. 
I thought we said we said that that cut off the limbs. Oh, and that was in fact uh, my last bullet. So glad that that worked. So gonna just uh, real quick, just a uh, nice yoink. Okay, that didn't go how I had hoped. It wasn't actually dead. Uh study. Why can't I remember anything? The marker you found included your brain with self-replicating signal. The longer you're awake, the more the signal spreads. It's killing you, Isaac. It's killing me. You said you could fix it, right? Only if you reach me in time. Translation, get moving. I don't you know, it was a choice to make it so physics just sort of was conceptual for this corpse. Anywho. So yeah, we've been on this ship for three uh, delightful years. And we do have now ten bullets. We're good. Baby. Baby, that's a power button. Baby, that's a power button. Please get I think it. we just have to close the door. <laughs> it's fine. Anywho, that was the first boss fight in this Dead Space 2. We did it. We made it. We have 10 bullets. Mm. And now we're back into our comfort zone. Gross, uh, industrialized mining shit bullshit. Nice. Oh man, and juice accidents happened all over the place here. This level of juice accident seems a little silly, you know? Nice. More vent stuff, of course. Because I am, in fact, an imposter from the video game. Uh, I mean, I am an imposter in the sense that, like, I too only have a kill button. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's not like I have a button that, uh, completes tasks. I may seem like an engineer, but, uh, I only know punch. Oh my god. <laughs> I thought they only did it once in this game, but oh, how wrong I was. But yeah, it's the classic bench, our good friend. Immediate HP upgrade for our poor, oh god, health. And, uh, we're working towards just absolute damage because like, boy do we just need to kill things. This is in fact where they got the, the idea. It had nothing to do with us. Uh, with any other movie or or film franchises. And yes, I did say movie or film. <laughs> <laughs> I do I do recognize that I did just say that. Yeah. Anywho, moving that to You know what? We have fifteen grand. Ooh. So see now we can these are things that we can actually buy legally. We want I believe we want uh, the contact beam, not because it's very good. It is a sniper rifle in a game where everything runs at you. So it's a bit, 
uncharacteristic. But the ammo for it is just ridiculously expensive. And once we have it equipped, the ammo will begin to drop. So we're going to wait till it, of course, we get the, the recipe for it. But I believe it's right here. Uh, this is a free DLC one. But yeah, that's a fun tip of if you have an extra gun slot in this game. That's a, a way to just make money in the background. But anyway. Wait. Did I remember to buy an extra? We'll go ahead and buy an... Oh, wait, we can't yet. Uh, I was going to buy another power note because we have enough money for it, but we can't buy it yet. We're too young. I can't go back in the vent. Okay. I, w I do wish I could save my game. <laughs> Space. Take me with you. Take me with you. I don't think they're going to take me with them. That's bad. Well... Alrighty then. <laughs> I I'm just gonna keep moving. I can't. I can't deal with that right now. Ah, oh, fuck. Ugh. <laughs> the trains, they've betrayed me. <laughs> Oh fuck, it's been three years since lag day, guys. Oh my God. How many bullets do I have? I have 12, oops, bullets. It's the president. I would like him, except he did say I needed to be, uh, I think the term he used was liquidated, which isn't a fun word to use when talking about a person. Yoink, yoink. So yeah, you can, much like in the first game, you can use, uh, power nodes to get into these storage rooms. Only in Dead Space 2, they made the power node rooms, like, outright essential, where one of them straight up has one of the suit schematics for the game's progression system. Uh, in the first game, it really was just ammo and stuff, but in this game, they just made them absolutely essential. So, always, always remember to have a... a spare node. But anyway... Before moving on... Break? Alright, we're gonna take probably like a 5 to 10 minute break. And we'll be back with more dead space. Keep in... EarthGov are liars. I bet they are, because he said here to help, and, but liquidating is not helping. Anyway, back to going AFK. <laughs> okay, we'll be
All right, we're back. We're back. I brought Starburst, so ignore the sound yeah, of this so now we're, we're having movie time, spooky movie time, you know? <laughs> movie snacks. Good things are... <laughs> I love that. <laughs> like... Good logo design, guys. Yeah. <laughs> Was that like a graffitied soldier on top yeah, of it? Yeah. Okay, yeah, it's a Banksy thing. Okay. Is I all thought that was. Art Banksy to you? No, but it is a Banksy reference. Is it? Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Okay. <laughs> so. Unlike the first game, you're actually here in the midst of the outbreak, whereas in the first game it had already sort of... Alright, I should get moving. Uh, it had already sort of, uh... happened, where everyone was already infected by the time you got there in the first game. The outbreak is really just starting. And the events of the outbreak are actually detailed in a mobile-exclusive uh, Dead Space spin-off. Fucking elevators, eh? My hat's shiny as hell. So, uh, that guy actually was a contest winner. There was a contest they had during the development of this game. The prize was to die in Dead Space 2. Oh my god. Mm-hmm. So that Isaac, was the winner. Oh Isaac, heck. Over here. Yo, behind you though. It's the drugs, Isaac. They gave us drugs to make us forget. Yeah. But it's all coming. I don't know what you're talking about. Why are you calling me? Isaac! Isaac, look out! Oh frick. Oh no. Well, anyway, I have, uh... Oh, I still have bullets after that. Because that was just a lot of ammo I spent murdering that boy. Mm. I'm not proud of it. I'll be the first to admit. But no, like, we're going through a residential section right now. Like, that's the thing is, um... Ah, beans. Blink. You know what? Frick you. <laughs> He's not leaving his mother. What is she doing? Okay. 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 Not great, looks like. Thank you. Apparently, she had three bullets on her. I just had to sort of kick it out. But something that's also very dark about it is that we have sort of people in the midst of the transformation, which is kind of horrific in its own way. And she also had three bullets on her that I did have to kick out. Everybody knows that they have kick wallets in the future. <laughs> I, I just, like, I get it from a gameplay standpoint. It's just so silly. Yeah. Future time kick wallets. Oh boy, it's a laundry room. Ooh, free bullet. Thank you. Ooh, but my helmet glows. <laughs> Heck yeah. Y'all seen Iron Man? <laughs> Hello, helmet. Thank you for hanging out. Oh, you're still here. As well, that boy, not Helmet. Nah, this game has been spoop free, I would say. Not scared at all. I like being just like their 
coming towards you. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Oh, for free? I thought, I thought. Alright, listen here. Anyway, after that one, I'm not... Okay, anyway, I just drank, like, five health flasks, but we're doing a bit better now. It's fine. That room's always a rough one because it's so small and so full of boys. You know? <laughs> Cutie just shook her head. She does not know. <laughs> I know nothing, apparently. She does not know. Ah, oh, take me with you. Oh, I'll go to space. But you're already in space. <laughs> Mind blown. Mind blown. Just full of voice, the laundry room. Although some of those necromorphs. Jesus, calm down, dude. I don't even want whatever the fuck you have. Ah, oh, this is where our boy called us earlier. Um, I call a lot of people boys. Nolan Strauss, uh, the other subject, subject five. Uh, he called us from over here. And then I guess just waltzed out. All the necromorphs were like, nah, he's not tasty. We will not touch him. It's like, it only just started. When did they have time for this? Like, that's graffiti. <laughs> there are necromorphs everywhere. Is the entire sprawl infected? How this happened? The marker was destroyed, Dana. I destroyed it. You destroyed a marker, Isaac. Tyvan built another one. On this station? Why? It's powerful alien technology. Tyvan wants that power. Get to the tram. It'll take you to the casino tower's currency. Dana? Damn it. Well, anyway, I'm just going to use a save station. Thanks for the three plasma energy. Ding. Oh my god. Kicking it makes strumming noises. Okay. That's so powerful. Take me with you, space. Oh. Maybe don't take me with you. <laughs> Not that time. Oh fuck yeah! Are we about to, cutie? What? Trains. Trains. Our good friend. Be there on time. Be there on time with the trains. We're going to space trains. Ah. Space trains. Space trains. Alright, it must be infuriating with that playing constantly in the background, eh? I'm hoping that's a glitch that's making it play constantly. 
Not like a glitch in the game. I mean a glitch on the screen. No, 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 no. but I, I don't have the game sound. Oh, I see. I didn't have to. I see. <laughs> now, power malfunction. That is rude. <laughs> Such silly noises. Love these boys. Gotta make sure, though, to shoot the corpses, because those corpses despawn pretty fast. And they all drop something. Excuse? Ooh, I gotta go. Uh, and yeah. Nice! It just took blowing up a couple boys. And now, the power is back. <laughs> but just to that door. Anyway, I'm excited to see some trains. You know? Hey. I think the trains have ghosts in them. Is the issue. Ghost train. Ghost train. Ghost train. <gasps> Free things. Sure, I'll take a stasis pack. Thingy. Uh, schematic. All right. What time is it? It is, uh, fucking 3.30. Okay. Because I think that was one of our cats ramming themselves against the door. Oh, uh, yeah. I think this is the train that we get to romance in this one. Now, obviously, it's a bit of a fixer-upper. For more reasons than one, I will admit. So anyway, I think though, this is in fact our train um, spouse. And that's not, that's a train in, oh, I thought I had stasis. <laughs> so, okay, we'll just drink a little bit of the, of the, of the health juice. And we're feeling better. <laughs> Lights can be sudden and startling. It doesn't take much. <laughs> Once again, I'm not stomping things because I'm a sociopath. I am stomping things because that's how you loot things in this game. Because in fact, this boy apparently had not been stomped. He did give me three bullets. <laughs> I would not have gotten them unless I stomped him for some reason. See, look at this train. It's bigger than the last one. The last one was like a one person train. Like, we're moving up in the world. A one person train. I mean, you saw the size of it. We had like four cars. Well, we were in one car, but. Remember in the one we had that we rode once and then the game crashed when we tried to ride it again? <laughs> anyway, let's fix up a train, eh? Just collect and heal up. How are we doing? We have two healing items, uh, 26 bullets, and a bunch of schematics, which is going to be fun when we do find a shop. But first we do have to fix our train spouse. Hacker voice. Engineer voice. I'm he I'm fixed it. 
Ah, uh, see, and now that they, now that I fixed the train, they're like, we want on this train. We want to make this train all stinky again and make it not work. And to which I say, no, 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 you will not. Thank you for the flamethrower ammo. Hate it. So this is our personal train, everybody. Our train spouse, if you will. Bring out the sun, everybody. That's what my train spouse told me today. And you know what? I'm living that lesson. Going a bit fast, if I'm being honest. I don't... Is... Where... Oh, I'm... Um... <laughs> train spouse, I hope you know where we're going. Boy, they've just been hanging on here, huh? Gross. Light speed. Yep, it's awesome. Awesome town. Awesome stuff. Awesome prices. Awesome town. My train spouse brought to you by Awesome, awesome town. town and the Sun. <laughs> Everybody's favorite sponsor. If only the Sun. Oh, frick. I think our, our train spouse needs surgery. But too bad we're Iron Man. Pew pew. You can actually get hit by the doors. Uh, and you have to. This game loves just to test your finger strength every now and again. You know? <laughs> All right, listen. <laughs> she needs surgery. Oh, and she's full of these things. I'm doing surgery right now, okay? <laughs> if Cutie needed me... If Cutie needed me to shrink down to a tiny size, a la Magic School Bus, and do surgery on her from the inside, I would be willing to. So... This, if you think about it, is just me doing that to my brand new train spouse that I'm already uh, very happy with. Thank you very much. Look at that. She's doing great. Oh, dear God. I think I should use alternating pronouns for my train spouse. I love him so much. She has such beautiful train parts. Is it even worth shooting these boys? I mean, really. I've been betrayed. By my own train spouse. How dare you dangle me like this? Okay. Okay. No. Okay, not a thing that really... <laughs> It actually oh blew him. <laughs> Ow. I'm, I'm just gonna start blasting. If I'm being honest, I've already goofed this. This whole sequence up. Too many boys have gotten... Well, it's been nice knowing y'all. <laughs> I went out. By my own hand. My train spouse has goofed me. God, how far back are we going, though? Because, oh, like, no. I feel like the save point was long before our train spouse adventures. Ah, oh, nice! Oh, cool. Thank you, train spouse, for this one piece of, of mercy in this cruel, unforgiving world. Despite the fact that you do, like, one leg, even. That is so rude. I'm blaming the train for everything that's happening right now. Because guess what? The train was supposed to go just like on a track, huh? I thought that was the agreement we all had. Frick! No. Give me your hand. 
No. That one just missed. I think my train wife is pregnant. I think that's what that meant. Oh. Dana, I need a new route. What happened? I thought we lost you. Unscheduled stop. Where am I? How did you end up there? Hang on. This won't be the most pleasant route, but it'll get you to the Cassini Towers residential sector. Damn it! Titan has your signal again. Keep moving. Okay. You're very important to the Isaac. Hold tight. I'll contact you soon. <laughs> I feel betrayed. Well, if it's any consolation, my train wife is dead. <laughs> um. So. She's so young. Anyway. You know? Sliding doors. Sliding doors. Decisions. Maybe if I hadn't have hacked my train wife so readily, uh, we wouldn't be here right now. What even is this? Like, dis- what? Grip train, train wife. Wow, that is a the strangest of tongue twisters. My inventory is full. I can't pick up the, this ammo for a gun I don't have, or this an other ammo for a gun I don't have. <laughs> Surgery had gone wrong. In parentheses, police called. Just for good measure, you know? Where's <gasps> that inventory looking? <sighs> okay. We have so many schematics. I wish I wish we had fewer schematics, if I'm being honest. <laughs> They're all very important, but I wish we found a store. Well, I'm gonna save here for no reason. Anywho. Thanks, I hate it. Did it just Naruto run away? I think so. I think... I think the Zoomers have been infected. Everybody, watch out. If you see somebody Fortnite dancing, do not trust them. Oh man, that one got me. You got me, you know? When you get me, you get me. Proud of you. That's bad. Juice accidents all over the place in this place, you know? Face cam, just so you could see the fucking face I'm making right now, guys. I. Uh, <laughs> Do not approach. Oh, God, okay. Jesus, Isaac. Okay. Jeez, didn't need to throw it as well. Isaac, you're still alive. We can't. I think you're tracking our signals. Are the memory 
If they're tracking our symbols, then stop calling me, dog. <laughs> The more I remember, the more my head hurts. I keep seeing the symbols. The symbols too, Isaac. Do you even have to deal with necromorphs? Like, I just had to, like... I'm fighting for my life out here, and you're just like, I saw a funny shape recently. Wasn't that wacky? Great, dude. I'm sorry that you have a headache. <laughs> Is Trixie's. <coughs> but God. And that's the thing is, is this is the sort of thing you'd never get in. Oh God. Helmet, you can't see the top of your head without a mirror. It's true. Unless he has like extending stamen, like some sort of snap. <coughs> Quiet snap. Oh, extra bullets. See, you always forget to kick the extra child corpse, you know? Boy, this game. Because <laughs> each one of these drops ammo for some godforsaken reason. <laughs> they do want you to stomp every single one. <laughs> nice. You. All right. And and I always like I like it's something you never see in the first game. Well, that's something you never see in the first. Anyway, um, is that uh, just sort of residential stuff and really like children's stores and stuff in this world? Because in the first one, it was a mining ship. It was this very uh workspace and everything was cold and industrial and they just vary up the setting a lot more with this one um but yeah because you're going across this whole ding dang ship uh because your train wife is dead and you need to avenge them you must iron man see it's like on the one hand I could buy a bunch of power nodes to become a more powerful boy um, I might buy a little bit of ammo just, just a touch and then like two power nodes uh, just because boy do I need more health and to kill things faster that would I think really help my ammo problems But no, I'm I'm interested. Oh, more, more really? Damn. Hey Dana, there's this crazy guy that keeps contacting me. I saw him back at the hospital. Nolan Struss. He was a patient in the project, just like you. Yeah. Well, why was he there? What does he want? He's a psychopath, Isaac. Stay clear of him. He murdered his own wife and child. Okay, I'll be careful. Bold stylings. Brundini. That. Jesus Christ. <laughs> they cannot see. <laughs> that 2020 life. The I have no eyes and I cannot scream bundle. I mean, he looks so unhappy too. All right, well, whatever. Um, bold stylings, as always. Levita <laughs> levitations, just levitating. Just the levitation store. See, there's like stuff down there and I want to grab it with my mind powers because that's just money. 
And I remember there are certain angles where you can grab things with your mind powers and hearing. Okay. <laughs> More money. Thank God the, the vending machines still work and sell uh, military uh, grade equipment, eh? <laughs> what a convenient thing for an engineer to have access to. I just want, I just want it. It's a golden circuit board. I know what it is. It's worth monies. Which can be used, all right. Have fun. God, pizza does sound nice. Pizza? Yeah. We can make pizza tonight. Could make pizza. Um. We'll make pizza Correctly this time. We forgot to pre-bake the dough. So it just sort of turned into a giant cheesy garlic bread a little bit. It was, it was weird. It's a weird one. I thought it was okay. I mean, you could eat it. I'm still circling like a, like a, like a sad dog for this. I just, I just want the money. Thank you. But that money and that money. It's a Pillsbury dough. For that particular dough, you were supposed to pre-bake it, and we just forgot to. Um, and so that was the issue, is... is I mean, it's right there! <laughs> Do I have to, like... Yes, I had to shoot at the glass. I see. But... But... <laughs> People were on the edge of their seats during the 15-minute looting section where he just wanted just a pile, just three dollars. Just a, a, a shiny three dollar bill. Thank you. It was six dollars. Well, we are going to go to... Uh, the Church of Unitology, who, as we know, are the good guys who think the marker is great, and they're correct because it is great, you know? As you can tell. I know. Two $3 bills. Stonks. All right. Engineer voice. I'm, I'm trying to help. Thank God all of these use Zebra Industries. Thank God there's not like, you know, a second operating system in the galaxy. If, if, if that sort of continuity stuff drives you crazy, oh boy, just wait till Dead Space 3. When you go to ships that are supposedly 300 years old, yet they use the same Zebra Industries minigame. So apparently we've been using the same Zebra Industries OS and UI for approximately <laughs> five centuries. Yeah, the third game gets weird. This looks like a Unitology recruitment center. Am I still on track? Yes. There's an old maintenance access point in there that'll take you through the waste disposal system and into the Cassini Towers. Stay sharp. Discover your potential. Ask us how. Get a fancy alien diploma with unitology. But we can help. Ask us how. We have a man. Oh, he's reaching out. I think that's um, unitology Jesus. That's him. In actuality, they actually like wrote a book about this boy's sad origin story. He was a scientist who found the original alien marker on Earth, um, and then he was killed by a necro like as part of the necromorph outbreak. He was really killed by the U.S. government, cough cough, um, who then uh, turned him into sort of this religious figure to uh, sort of get everyone focused on markers because they wanted to figure out how to get more because they destroyed that first one after it killed a bunch of people but it was a source of limitless energy yeah our john hubbard smile 
But yeah, so they wrote a whole book about his sad origin story of that he was a scientist just sort of tied up in all of this. Um, which, you know, makes the religion a little harder to swallow when you learn it's mostly just government propaganda. No means no. Huh? I hate that. I mean, I didn't have to kill any of them. I mean, I'm sure. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> I thought I got them all. It's fine. Everything's fine. Sure, that one had flamethrower ammo somewhere. I don't question why the children have ammunition. I just go with it. Nice. Ten dollars. Look at our sweet. Okay, sure. Yeah, so we're out of healing items. <laughs> we do have quite a few bullets, though, so we're doing all right in that regard. Uh, yeah, you know, I think unitology is fine and normal, you know? I think that they worship the strange alien artifact that's killing everybody is just a really weird coincidence that everyone needs to needs to get over, you know? <laughs> they get less subtle with how evil Unitology is with each game. And and that's saying something, given that the first game, they were kind of just a death cult. Okay. Whoever sees this, listen up. So this is a tutorial on how to throw things, which is a weird lesson because they literally give you kinesis before they give you a god. So it feels like this tutorial could have come like... Like, like, a lot earlier. But I think it's because they assumed that most players would by this point forget that that exists. It's just like, hey, remember. You can eat things. You don't just have to gun. A lot of ammo. Not a lot of health packs. You'd think, hey, I figured out what the main problem with this old space boat is. It's that y'all have ammo in every fucking room and not a single med pack in sight. No wonder everyone's wounded to shit. It's like, fuck. Oh, it's time to feed the cats. You go feed them? Do we want to do a quick AFK break to feed them? Okay, go for it. All right, cutie's gone. You say that, Helmet. I think actually Isaac Clarke was added as like a fighting game to the PlayStation fighting game at one point. And, and honestly, his, his moveset was probably that. Now I do want to go into the zero-g garbage compactor, warning extreme danger, because that just sounds delightful. Yeah, PS All-Stars. I remember, because that was around the time Di Dark, er, Dark Souls, Dead Space 3 came out. Um, and so they used his, like, model from that game. I was, I followed the release of Dead Space 3, because by that point I was a huge fan. And it was a bummer, you know? Not quite on the level of bummer uh, as seeing M. Night Shyamalan's live-action uh, Avatar The Last Airbender in theaters, um, but pretty close, if I'm being honest. So let's do that quick. Save Rooney, and then use the bench, and then probably save again, because I am a coward. Hello. Oh. The cats are still being fed. The logistical struggle that is th feeding three cats is so much more than you'd expect after getting used to feeding two cats, you know? You throw a third one in and you think it's gonna be 50% more work, but then it's like, you know. All right, so now our gun do many damage, almost as much as is possible, generally. 
um, which I'm excited about. Because boy, do we need it in this dangerous world of, of dead space. Now I am going to save again, only because uh, I will forget to uh, do my bench every single time, or at least I don't. I do have to turn off the garbage compactor before I can go into it. And that's the important first step. I should probably save again, but I don't think I'm gonna die, like, immediately. And I think Hubris is fine in this moment. My good friend, Hubris. Excuse me. That was rude. This is fine. Oh yeah, now our, our gun holds 12 bullets, because we, we had to get an ammo cap one to get to the next damage upgrade. So this is zero gravity in this game. Are you ready? So in the last game, it was a weird jump thing where you just walked on surfaces like this. Yeah. In this game, you fly around in it like Iron Man. So yeah, they made zero G a lot more interesting in this game just because it is sort of an alternate combat mode. And in the third game, they get even more interesting with it. Oh, for frick's sake, I didn't mean to do that. Um, I, I burned a healing item when I didn't mean to because I wanted to like adjust and I used the uh, I wanted to adjust mid-flight and I used the controls for the game prey <laughs> for like mid-flight adjustment in space which in this just used a healing item which I think was in fact yeah it was the only healing item I had so uh, guess we can't take damage huh this ship is a death trap. But anyway, now we're just sort of doing trash work so that we can get through the ship to get out of the Jesus section and into the residential section. Or at least that's what we've been told so far. So let's... We're like a leaf in the wind. Okay, orient to ground is Z. I always quietly forget what it is immediately after uh, I stop playing the game. Always love when the lights go out. Ooh, it's spooky. Ooh. See, but it took two bullet to kill that man, and he dropped three bullets, so now we're doing great. Now that we've uh, really upgraded the dickens out of the out of the damage that the damage our gun does. Where's the thing for this? Love them flashing lights. Ooh, money. But no, there's a plug-in for this, and I think I horrifically missed it. But I think it could also be down here. I hate all of the background noises happening right now, mainly because they it, it is a lot of moaning. Oh, it was right by the door. I'm a fool. 
The flashing lights are like mildly disorienting me. Oh just every time I just blink a little bit and I'm like, yeah. where am I? You're the baby one who turned I didn't mean to smush that boy with it, but alright, video game. But see, like, that's just a pile of money in here. Like, that was such a worthwhile node room. But no, I did a zealot run of, of, of Dead Space 2 way back when. And I had a lot of difficulty with it, mainly just because I didn't upgrade the damage for my plasma cutter, so I was constantly running out of ammo. Um, and I ended up making it pretty late into the game, like, towards the end, but I literally just didn't have enough ammo, or could do enough damage for the final, sort of, set of encounters, and so I ended up not finishing it. So yeah, this will actually, if I do beat it, be my first time beating Dead Space 2 on Zealot difficulty. But yeah, that store up there, unfortunately, could not, I guess, be fixed. And, you know, I was told this would be out of the creepy Jesus area. Well, that's not bad. I thought I was out of the Jesus area. This does appear to be Jesus area 2, Electric Boogaloo. Which I don't appreciate. Hey, look, though, they have circle toilets on this ship. See, that's how you can tell. Things have advanced in these last three years. They discovered that you could make toilet seats round. Bolt. Revolution. Why is it that the dead ones even, like, lie the same way? <laughs> like, yeah. I'm going to just take your own arm from you. I get it now. But no, as you can see, like, the kinesis... Okay, more, more, more. No. And it's so rough to take these out with the plasma cutter, because it's just so inefficient. Uh, there's a weapon that you get, like, a bit later in this game that I want to try out. It's a bit like a shotgun. Um, if I'm being honest, by the way, in Dead Space 1 and 2, I've really just used the plasma cutter. Like, I haven't messed around too much with the other weapons. Dead Space 3 was the one where I got more experimental just because the gun system was sort of a bit more robust in that. In Dead Space 3, guns are fully customizable. Um, and so yeah, you can make some wacky combinations. Um, but it's a departure from this game. Well, guess that's the way we're going, huh? I was like, that seems creepy, maybe later. But then the game was like, no, no, no. The horse room is where you must go next. I hate it. Why are the horses so menacing, cutie? I have no idea. Why are the horses whispering? I, I don't like it. How many if you're here? <laughs> Why are the horses whispering? Please explain. Well, anyway. Oh boy, here the horse dreams come again. Oh no, the horses, the horses weren't horses all along, they were markers. Okay, they're horses again. The threatening aura has not left. Oh, the, the horses are whispering my name. Sweet, thanks for the 10 bucks. Do all the toilets in this world just auto flush? Because that is so inefficient, guys. How much water is wasted on on non-piss? That is my question, okay? When does it end? <laughs> when do you run out of water? I think that's why there are so few med kits. They just keep using their water on 
on toilets is the issue. On toilets and on, on, on bullet, apparently. Making sure that there's a bullet in every bedroom. Yeah, okay, so that's... So that's Dagoth Ur, the, the, the antagonist from the Elder Scrolls Morrowind, which is fun. I didn't know he was a part of the Unitologist faith. Proud of him. <laughs> um, the for jumping games. Proud, yeah, for, for jumping games, jumping ship, deciding I want to be part of this space death cult. This is a, that was just a weird, ooh, I don't. Okay. Dana, Diamond soldiers have found me. They're tracking me in some sort of gunship. You're almost here. Hurry. I gotta go, gotta go. I think that's the man that did want to kill me. Oh. Fair though. God, they were up to all sorts of sort of stuff here, huh? Like, now I do remember this being pretty rough. This, sorry, I did hear like a distant roar. Uh, this game. One of its strengths is that I think it does a very good job uh, putting you in in a, a greater diversity of sort of combat encounters than the first one of where you're more often sort of taken outside of your comfort zone and just plopped in these giant ass rooms that are um we're good those boys uh, this room is full of corpses and those boys will just go from corpse to corpse turning each and every person in this room into a necromorph and so these rooms can be a bit scary just because if you don't immediately deal with them it becomes a big problem javelin spears there is a javelin gun in this game and it is a lot of fun to use I think we either have it now or get it soon. It's not exactly a good gun, I won't I will say. It it sort of fulfills the same purpose as like the the yeeting things, but it's a gun. Okay, I guess that's all for this room. Nope. Okay, sure, Space Church. It's here? Oh my god. Um, no, it's pretty late. Um, but anyway, this tells the, the sort of story of unitology according to unitology. It's, uh, you know, obviously, like, all the sort of propaganda. Oh, man, this place is big. I forgot. Oh, okay, that's just a... Ooh, I hate it. It's Tymon! He's found you! Into the church! Hurry! Alright, we're going to church. We're going to church. It's fine. It's fine. Dana, the church of unitology? Why here? It's one of the few places on Titan Station that Titan can't monitor. Separation of church and state. No, Dana, we shouldn't be in here. This is the last place we want to be right Isaac, now. Isaac! My brother died trying to rescue you. This is important. This will work. 
I'm in the safe room at the top of the church. Meet me there, okay? Now, actually, I am going to use the alternate function on the old scanner to take us to the store. Because this, I really like this church area because it's a big old sort of hub area that we spend a bit of time moving through and slowly unlocking. Um, but yeah, so I'm just going to go to where the store, save room, and bench are. In the gift shop, of course, we have additional Dagoth Ur masks. Always a classic for kids, especially. Children love the Elder Scrolls Three Morrowind. It's all the rage right now, don't you? Know? Yeah, it's you know a new Fortnite dance was added. It's called the Dagother. Can you imagine? All in the sleep. But yeah, mixed amongst the DLC weapons, we now have the legitimate ones. So we have the the real pulse rifle rather than the EarthGov pulse rifle. The actual harpoon javelin gun rather than the bloody or triage javelin guns. Gotta love it. How are you doing? I'm good. I just wanted to check in, you know, amidst all the dead spacing. All right, our damage is max. Now we can start working on our poor health. And, and look, that's the uh, increases the damage of telekinesis and palement by 50. Oh, cool. So you can upgrade that too, and that's yeah. what we're gonna focus on next. Now that we're done with our plasma cutter's damage. <laughs> But yeah, so now our plasma cutter does a lot of damage, which should help, especially on this difficulty. Um, and and yeah, now we can just work towards upgrading our health and telekinesis damage. But anyway, should we wrap up soonish? Yeah, sure. Okay. Oh, fuck. Oh, beans. beans. I think I broke my headphones. That's cool. Because we could keep going, but this is honestly a great stopping, a stopping point. point. Yeah, yeah we perfect. just started chapter three yeah, sure. or whatever. Okay. Well, oh. that's right. What? Did no. I do this too soon? No, you didn't do it too soon. It just says currently offline now. Yeah, that's what the go. That's the, the, the thing. Are we uh, no longer live? No. Oh. I'm so confused. Okay. Thank you all for <laughs> Thank joining Thank you, everybody. Us. I'm confused. <laughs> I thought, I thought, cutie, just turned the stream off. No, I didn't. No. <laughs> okay, let's go see. Let's go see who's doing things. Who's doing what? Oh, wait, did you save? Uh, yes, I did just save. So, so I can quit? You are fine to quit. Okay, I will quit. Oh, nobody's. See you, Mike. Have a good one. See you later, Mike. Thanks for hanging out. I'm going to be doing more Dead Space 2 next Wednesday um, at some time. Uh, we're still sort of working out what time it's going to be. I wanted to try a bit earlier today, but we might do closer to 5 or 6 next time just because if we do it right before we have to feed our cats dinner, then they are kind of a, a, a bit of a lot to deal with. They can be a bit of a handful. We're going to go say hi to Kim. Your rating to me is great. Kim. Well, that's their full title, though. Kim is great. Oh. I, for whatever reason, read an extra I. Um, no, I mean, it looks... Like, it could either be Kimmy, parentheses S, you know? Kimmy I, is great. 
All right, I'm going to steal the headphones. Yeah. All right, thank you guys. Let's go say hi to Kathy. All right, y'all have a good one.